Hi folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Uh, this is the Arrows Bigfoot. It's part of my top five favorite Arrows planes, uh, specifically the Arrows uh, brand. And uh, Hobby Zone sent this out to me for review. And I've got, I've got almost, basically I have all the Arrows planes minus the MiG-29, which I don't have, well, mine is, is no good anymore. And then I have, I don't have the Pioneer. But other than that, I have all the other Arrows planes. And of all the Arrows planes, I have the top five favorites. Bigfoot is one of them. My top five favorites are uh, the Marlin, then the F-86, then Bigfoot, and then the 50 millimeter Avanti, and then last but not least, the Corsair. And just depending on how I feel that day, that, that list may change, but it's those five, and sometimes one is better than the others. But, but right now, Bigfoot, those are my top five I love. I love them all, but I especially love that F-15, but I'm talking about planes that are the Arrows planes, their main bread and butter planes that people can get and, uh, and afford. All right, this is probably one of the best beginner planes out there. And she pretty much can do anything. All stock. Very plain, I feel very, very confident with. And uh, like I say, she's all stock. Just running a 3S 2700 um, Hobby Star. You know, one of my favorite, one of my absolute favorite uh, 3S batteries. See if I can actually land this bad boy. Kind of windy. There we go. She's modeled after a Cessna 150. You're thinking, well, I'm just trying to make the pilot drunk. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to kill the pilot, I guess. Poor guy. A little touch and go here. There you go. A little bit of a knife edge here. All right. We can land in the grass here. Walking the dog a little bit. Time remaining, four minutes. A little peel away knife edge here. All right, let's go down here. We'll do a hammerhead stall. Well, that wasn't a hammerhead stall. Never mind. Actually, we'll come down at this other end and do it. That's full speed into the wind. We're going to take her up. There we go. Stall turn. Yeah, you can fly inverted with her all day. I just don't, I'm not a fan of inverted flight. I never have been. I mean, I can do it, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> to me, the plane's not meant to fly upside down. But, I guess I should practice it more. I mean, you never know. You might have one of those situations where you have to fly inverted. Don't know what that situation would be, but hey. Little bounce and go there. All right, let me show you how to negate that bounce. Let me see if I can do this. Time remaining, three minutes. Land All right, say so you're coming in with your flaps, which you don't really need, but you want to do it anyways. Let's see if I can land this plane without having that ter terrible bounce. Those tires are very hard. And what you do, if I can do it, there you go. What you do, is when you bring it in, you're just getting ready to touch down with those big tires and you think you're going to bounce, kick that tail down. Okay, you want to kick that tail down. Pretend your tail is like the tail hook on a, on a carrier, on a carrier-based aircraft. You want that tail to grab you and pull you out of the sky. I had a viewer teach me that. 
He's like, just try, try to pretend, letting the tail pull you out of the ground, pull you out of the sky. And by, by golly, it works. It does, it negates that bounce. All right. I think I have shown off the Bigfoot well enough now. And I do love to show this plane off. It is just a great flying plane. I don't care what skill level you're at. Um, the, the Bigfoot is just a, is just a, there's another example of it. Take off one more time. The Bigfoot is just a, a great all around plane. And you don't need to feel so you can fly her for us. Well, yeah, I'm sure you can. But I think she's got plenty of power and plenty of get up and go in 3S. And 3S batteries are a lot more economical. Time remaining, two minutes. A little windy now. All right. Still got two minutes left. Let's take a look and kind of turn against the wind there. See which kind of life we got left. All right, hey little buddy. Prop secured. Stability mode, AS3X mode. All right. She does have um, safe and and uh, self level this was self self leveling. So what they call it stability mode. And then she's got no gyro mode, which I think is called direct. And then she's got the wind gyro, which is what I was flying in, which is they call that optimized mode. All right, two minutes left, or a minute 54 seconds. Prop is off. Be careful. This water-based paint, I would put a, I haven't done it yet, but a nice thick coat of polyacrylic on here because this water-based paint will really chip very easily. And you're gonna, when you're taking that hatch off, you're gonna miss that and you get it with your nails. So, uh, I don't care how tri trimmed your nails are, you're gonna chip this paint. So, and pulling it out of the battery, I can just see a little chip right there. So, uh, the XT60 is very tight. These are, these are the Hobby Star 2700. You get them from uh, RC Juice, I think they're in California. But I wanna tell you, I've got, uh, I think, five or six of these. I've had them for years, literally years. And, um, I just use them, and if I don't use them, if I don't fly them, I discharge them down to about 30%. Like this one's at 64, I'll put this on a dis on a uh, discharger down to about 30%. I've had these batteries for years, and they're not puffy. I get great performance. I want to say this battery here is six years old. I've probably I don't know how many hundreds of cycles of flights has got on this this particular battery, but uh, I, I'm very very impressed. Now these bat those batteries are $29 each unless you can catch them on sale at RC Juice. I'll put a link to that battery. They still carry them. They're $29. Sometimes I'll run them on special for $22. Um, but this is a 2700 with a 35C. Just about the most perfect 3S battery for any, any RC plane. All right, folks. Well, thank you for watching. That is the Arrows Bigfoot, part of my top five favorite Arrows planes. God bless y'all. Don't forget, Hobby Zone, thank you for sending it out. Don't forget, folks, faith, family, and friends, and they're really cool Bigfoots. Bye-bye.